Welcome back to Mass Appeal, everybody. I bet if you're like me, you're looking for some easy to make last minute desserts for the 4th of July. Yes, because I'm sure a lot of people did procrastinate and they're thinking, what am I going to make? Well, we're going to show you what to make. Mm -hmm. First up is an easy skillet pie. We're with Nancy Parent. She's the owner of Tears of Joy in Ludlow. Mm -hmm. Nancy, a skillet pie, so I'm assuming it's made in a skillet, right? It can be, but I made the sample here in a glass dish because a lot of people don't have skillets. You can do it either way. Perfect, but it has to be a skillet that can go in the oven, right? Correct, or if, it, if you're worried about that, you just put aluminum foil around the uh, handle and you're fine. Oh, perfect. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. If we problem. have a rubberized handle, you yep. put aluminum foil? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a neat tip I just learned today. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So what's the first step, Nancy? So this is really simple. As a matter of fact, this is something that my four-year-old, when she was four, used to love to do when we had company because it's that easy. This so means it's really embarrassing if we can't do it. No, no, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> so what we I'm have here now. is a stick of butter, and that just goes in the bottom of the pan. I know, Ashley, you like to help, so you're just going to pour that right <laughs> in the bottom of the pan. Perfect. So okay. far, so good. Right. And now you have just a few ingredients. So what we have here is a cup of flour, which you're going to put in that bowl. Seth? Okay. Oh, in the bowl. In the bowl. Not in the skillet. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Ashley and Seth, four-year-olds at heart. <laughs> Make sure we can listen. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder, not baking soda. Baking powder. Okay. Is there a big difference? Cup of milk, yes. They, um, they leaven differently depending on what your ingredients are. Interesting. A cup of milk, whole milk, is that what you use? Yes. Okay. And now you're just going to whisk it so that there's no lumps. Well, after Honors. you. No, no, really, you. All right, let's do this thing. Apparently, I, I'm not a good whisker. I've been told. <laughs> oh. So I'd rather not embarrass myself Are on you live TV. Whisk remedial? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I am. I'm a I, lot of things I remedial. I practice at home, but <laughs> I'm a lot of things remedial. Look at that so whisking. Okay. Thank you. So once that's all, what do you try to look for? Obviously, no clumps, right? Just no lumps. That's all you're doing. It doesn't even have to be really perfect. So you're just about there. Oh, good. So all you are going to do now is just dump it in the middle of the pan. And it's going to displace some of the flour, but, but some of the uh, butter, but that's okay. It's supposed to. So just pour it right in the middle. So basically, it's uh, error. It for really is error free and it's so good. I used to use this a lot when we would have company for dinner and as I was getting ready to put dinner on the table, we would make this up and then we would just stick it in the oven 45 minutes and we were all set. Is that it? Yeah. That's now all you're going to do is just use that spatula and just put the uh, pie mix right in the middle. Don't stir anything, just pour it right in the middle. Well, right in the middle. Yeah. There so we go. This is, this is pretty much it. This is it. We've made a pie in less than Four minutes. Exactly. I think I could do From this. From scratch. From scratch. Huh. Well. And now you stick it in the oven at 350 degrees, 45 minutes, and you're done. And then it looks something like this. Yes. And so when your dinner is finished, you take it out of the oven, let it cool a couple minutes, put ice cream on it. People think you're brilliant. Could oh you, my goodness. Could you cut up? See, I'm a sucker for apple pie. Cherry's not really my thing. Could I slice up apples and put them in there? Sure. Awesome. Sure. But the reason um, you can do it anything you want, I just used this because I figured a lot of people these days are very, very busy, and it, this is just so simple. We literally have made a pie. You, a lot of times you have all of the, the, the basics in your house already. All you do is buy a can of cherry pie filling, and you're done. Easy. I love it. And I have a skillet, too, so, so that works. There you go. It's perfect. And Nancy, ahead on the show, we're making trifles, is that right? Yes. Which is another easy-to-make, last-minute, cool dessert. And something you do not have to turn the oven on. And at this time of year, that is perfect. Right? That's Love right. Love that. We'll All be right. back with you, Nancy. Thank okay. you so much. Right. Thank you. We are back with Nancy Parent. She's the owner of Tears of Joy in Ludlow. And now we're making a patriotic trifle because before we made a skillet pie. Right. All right. Now right. this is red, white, and blue, right? Red, white, and blue. So it's very patriotic. And the best part about it is you do not have to turn on your stove if you I don't want it. to. And a trifle is basically a fancy way of saying a layered cake, right? Layered cake. Cold cake, yes. A layered cold, perfect. Right. Good, like good, good. A, almost like a pudding in the end. Sounds good to me. How do we get started? Okay, so there's two things that you can do. You can either go and do what I did, which is purchase an angel food cake, or you can actually make one. But in this weather, it's really nice not to have to so turn on the oven. Keep the oven off. Uh, right. Don't do anything. Let someone else do the work for right. you. That's what I'm talking about. So what we have for ingredients are the angel food cake, some whipped topping, some lemon yogurt, lemon juice, and in this particular case, I'm using the low-fat sweetened condensed milk. Um, we're making this one a low-fat version. That one that I made ahead of time is a regular version, but this one is 200 calories per serving, which That's is it? really great after a barbecue when you've kind of stuffed your face and you want something <laughs> light. You've already yes. eaten 5,000 calories right. worth of hot dogs. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the whipped topping, the yogurt, the juices, and the um, sweetened condensed milk in a bowl. Okay. Oh, I love whipped topping. 
I have, a, I have a large sized spoon for you if you'd like to dig into that. No. Okay, you're gonna wait for the Not on TV. If I was at home, different story. <laughs> like, absolutely, all of this? All of it? Okay. Wow. Good, and then lemon juice as well? Yes. Oh, the lemon, I love that idea. And, and then, lemon just makes it nice and fresh and um, just really tasty. It's yes. great for a summer day. And we're just going to blend that in. Okay. And while I'm blending that, if you want to take about a third of this yep. and just put it in the bottom of the bowl. Okay. Would you like to do the honors? I would love to begin the layering process. I think Let's you're really good thing. at layering. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> so in my personal life, I like to do things very easy. In my professional life, I tend to do very difficult cakes, which is what <laughs> I love. But you'll notice my poor family, they get, they get easy. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to now family. put a layer, about a third of this over the crate. Now, the cake don't pieces. mess up, Ashley, because I've layered very well. Okay. <laughs> well, try it's not debatable. To. This is like fluff. That's what it, it, the consistency looks like. Yeah. All right, what goes on after this layer? You're going to put one of the um, bowls of fruit on, which is one cup of each type of fruit. How's so this going? So just put it on. That's fine. Just kind of layer it around a little bit. Then put in whatever fruit you want first. I'm going to some okay. raspberries. And then next, is it more cake. angel food cake? Okay, so while we're doing this, Nancy, this is obviously a patriotic red, white, and blue themed mm -hmm. dessert. But there are other summer themed desserts that people can make for their cookouts or holiday parties throughout the summer. Sure. So over here we have a watermelon theme. Right, so I thought it'd be fun to do a watermelon cake because this is watermelon season and in this case somebody took a bite out. Which is kind of fun. <laughs> couldn't that's, wait, that's couldn't wait. But it was meant to be, right? It was meant it was to be, meant correct. To be that way. Yes, absolutely. And so that's watermelon cake. And over here, tell us about this little ice cream scoop cake. So if you haven't heard about breakaway or tearaway cake, sometimes people call them cupcake cakes. Um, it's terrific. And if it's you a are, new thing. It, it's trending. It's fairly it's right new, now. and it's actually very easy. If you're like born in the summer like I am, yeah. um, it's wonderful. You get those little cups of ice cream. The kids come, and they can take the cupcake that they want off the tray. It's great you give them hand, hand them a cup of, cup of ice cream, and you're all set. And then you can sit down later with a cup of coffee, and the adults can enjoy cutting up the bowl. Now, the bottom, <laughs> is, this, is this cake here, what we're looking at right Everything over here? Everything is cake. Everything is cake. Even the cupcakes are cake. Yes, and so we did. The only thing that's not real is the spoon for the for the. Uh, so don't eat the spoon. Don't eat the spoon. Ashley. But we have, you know, melted chocolate on there and chocolate chips and sprinkles and everything that you would find on a on a Sunday. That looks amazing. That is so adorable, and I love how it's the cake is for the parents and the cupcakes are for the kids. Right. Perfect. And, and earlier, it's this is great that we did the skillet cake. Yes. And if you didn't see that, go to mymassafield.com a little bit later today. But there. Getting a sneak peek. That's what it looked like. All you need is a skillet. What? Four or five ingredients? Four ingredients, yeah. Not much goes into it. And, oh, it's good. It's easy. It's fast. It's fast. Right. So there's our trifle. Ashley Cole, well done you. And what you would do is refrigerate this for several hours before you would serve it. But um, How the, long can it stay in the fridge? Oh, it can stay for quite a while. Really? Uh, yeah, several days. Good, good, no good. No problem. And then the flavors just mesh together, and you can have it for dessert every single night. That's right. I think I'll be making it. Amazing. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thanks,